what's up, y'all? This your boy Skills. What's going on? Right now, you're watching G4 TV Freestyle 101. I just got a heater that I just wrote. We're about to pull the beat up. I'm going to go in the booth and lay it down. I hope y'all like it, man. Check it out. G4 TV Freestyle 101. Yeah. Yeah. Check. You know what it is. Your boy Skills. The wrap up, man. All that ghostwriter. SK. I. The Double O. C. VA in the building, two up, two down. Freestyle 101. I wrote y'all a little something. I, I want to see what it is. It goes a little something like this. Check it. Yeah, now, I'm going to show you how when the tax should go. It's your boy Skills right now, attacking the show. Uh, get it right, G4 TV. Not Skills with a S, that's Skills with a Z. Battle me and get torn out the frame. I give you Halo, and I ain't talking about the game. Huh. So it's no need for metal here, because I'm solid. Like the next version of Metal Gear. I put the metal to your ear, homes. And I ain't talking about a gun, dog. I'm talking about headphones. My persona is great, so get near it. Clear it in the graphics on 2K8, uh. So go ahead and hate and take that walk as I skate over the track like Tony Hawk. Yeah, and you know my dough stack, man. I'm like a PS3. You like the first version of Pac-Man. It's doubtful that you'll do what I did. Skills, I'm the million-dollar backpack kid, uh. That's how it is, homie. My rhyme is done. Your boy Skills right now, Freestyle 101. Yeah. Freestyling, I, I definitely think, has lost some of the punch that it had er, in early on in the 80s or the 90s. People pay more attention to songs. They pay more attention to what's, what they think is going to sell, what's hot right now. And they don't put a lot into the careers of the artists. A lot of guys are just like, I call them like microwave artists. Like They just process it to be good right now. They don't think about having a career. You know, they could care less about freestyle, and some of them have no idea what it is or no clue. You know, they just care about selling some ringtones, but, you know, that is that is what it is. Like, if you sold, like, two million ringtones, and I don't know who you are, like, you could be sitting right beside me, and I, I can't even recognize you, and that's not a good thing, so. Yeah, that means that means you, you, you five minutes into your 15, you know what I mean? I'm from Virginia, so like where I'm from, we do we used to have a lot of open mics and this one college radio station that we used to go to, the University of Richmond, every Saturday had a radio show and they would let local MCs come up for freestyle. So um, we used to write rhymes too, just so we would have something new for Saturday. But um, the anticipation of you know leaving there that Saturday and making sure that you had something ready for the next Saturday was definitely you know priority. But if you didn't have something ready, freestyle was always a go-to. So you know I think that's where I hone my skills at. And, you know what I mean, got it going on from that point on. It's like watching ciphers and watching battles. Sometimes you. You can learn some of the things that an MC would do to, to make you think he's freestyling or and he's spitting a written or sometimes people just do a freestyle in the middle to get to a written. But I think I pretty much watched enough battles and enough cyphers and I've done it a zillion times. You know what I mean? So I think I pretty much know some of the clues. Um, they, they always make a reference that something's going on now and then two references later it's it's all pattern, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a pattern. Um, you know, a lot of dudes can't think that quick, you know what I mean? But a lot of dudes can. Um, some of the best freestylers I've ever seen in my life are people like Craig G, um, Supernatural. I've seen it all. I'm, like, you know, we've all seen the YouTube videos. People get punched in the face because of something that they said in a verse. But one of the most memorable ones I remember um, was outside of a, a club in New York City. This might have been... I want to say 95, it was a while ago, and it was a young Jay-Z outside demolishing cats, like, crazy, like, like, all comers, like, who wanted, like, I, it's no money involved, like, I'm just going to battle whoever wants it, and I remember seeing LL come outside the club, you know, LL being the star, Jay-Z trying to come up and be a star, and LL was standing, like, from the side, and he was looking, and he was listening to Jay rap, and Jay was serving this dude, and LL was like, he's, he's crazy, <laughs> and just got in his limo and just rolled off, like, I, I'll never forget that, it's still in my mind, yeah.